what were you guys able to do at halftime to, to make the corrections, the adjustments to, <clears throat> to get this offense going in the second half? Because as I just mentioned there to, to Bruce, y'all were really struggling in the first half to move the ball. Uh, well, uh, in the first half, you know, we really weren't converting, converting third downs like we needed to. And uh, in the second half, uh, we, we came out, we came out fired up, ready to go, and uh, we started converting on third down. And I think that was the biggest difference. Were you getting personally frustrated that the points weren't coming despite all the yards you were getting at that point? No, I was, I was trying to stay calm, trying to keep everyone else calm, you know. I knew it was going to come, it was just a matter of time, you know. And we just had to relax, stay poised, and it ended up coming in the second half. You broke the program record for total offense in a game. What's that mean to you? Um, it's exciting, but um, you know, it has nothing to do with moving forward. You know, that's in the past now, and you know, we gotta we gotta take it week by week, and we gotta get ready for next next week. <clears throat> How about the defense keeping you guys in it the whole time until until things caught fire there offensively? I mean, uh, credit to our defense. They are they are tremendous, you know, and they keep us in the they keep us in the ball game. They keep us fired up, ready to go, you know. And it really helps when they get a three and out. And uh, credit to Quinn and the defense for doing that. You know, they've done that very well this year. Quinn, three straight games of three points. Just put that in perspective for me. I think it's great. You know, coaches do a great job each week and scouting our opponent, putting us in a great, uh, great position to be successful. And we're just going out executing each week. You, know, you never know what could happen. You know, like nights like this, offense may struggle, but we all a team. And we, we just got to step up to the challenge each week and prove that we didn't. It seems like you guys were definitely swarming through the ball. I mean, you gave a good passing team only 242 yards uh, in the air. Just talk a little bit about the progression you guys have made throughout the last couple weeks and, and clearly coming out tonight and setting the tone to keep this team in this game. Uh, each week, the coaches challenge, challenge us to be better than the previous week. I think everybody doing a great job of actually understanding you know, our assignments rather than just going through the motions of just say, okay, coach called a play, we just need to run the play, but we actually understand why we need to run the play. So that's a big difference in why we're able to be successful out on the field. And once again, the coach is doing a great job of putting us in the right position, and we're just going out to execute. For all the confidence you guys had in the preseason about this being a better defensive year, could you have imagined a stretch like this? Is this what, what you, you had in mind, or even better? Uh, I, I couldn't lie to you say we did. We just have to just go to work every week and you know, step up to the challenge to get better each day. Was there a point in the first half when you guys were on the sideline and he pointed with the coaching staff with you guys and said, hey, look, our offense clearly isn't getting what we need right now. They're, they'll get things working here. We need to keep this game. We need to keep this team in this ball game right now. I think the leaders on the defense, we were, we were all talking about how, you know, we never know what could happen. And we told ourselves that, okay, we're going to score on defense and we're going to try to get, cause some turnovers. Unfortunately, it didn't happen, but we just continued to play hard, play fast, and you know, we was physical throughout the game, and we were able to put set the offense up in a couple of situations, and it, it worked out at the end of the game. Hey, Alex, what was the feeling from D'Angelo there in the first half when you guys were driving him several times? He had two big fumbles when you guys were moving. Uh, what did you say to him, or how did you feel he was? You know, what his mindset was on the sideline after those two fumbles? You know, he was he was obviously upset, but. Um, I mean, we just got to come to the sideline, and I told him, I told him, you got to forget about it. You know, there's nothing you can do about it. You know, what happened happened, and it's in the past. And uh, I mean, the first time he was close to being down, I don't know if he was down or not. And the second time, I mean, credit to Elon, they made a good strip on the ball. You know, they really got in there and they ripped it out. But um, the defense, I mean, we fumbled the ball three times, I think, and uh, I mean, the defense holding them to three points. I mean, that's incredible. Are you going to be doing running back drills on Monday instead of quarterback drills since you led the team in rushing <laughs> with 88 yards? No, but I think I'm going to be uh, joining joining uh, everyone in uh, you know holding the ball high and tight and uh, fumble drills. <laughs> Valid point. Valid point. So the defense, three straight games of three points. What can you say about their effort? Well, you know, Ryan, I kind of heard the questions that you had. I heard all the questions that you guys asked our guys. And uh, remember, let's back up a little bit. Let's talk about the spring. And one of the key things that we needed to be able to do in the spring was make sure we became more consistent on defense. We improved on defense. I said at the end of spring that I thought our defense was absolutely significantly improved from where we were a year ago. And one of the things that I, that I told our team was that I thought that by the time we got through preseason, I thought our defense was better than the defense we had a year ago. 
and that's turned out to be the case for us. And uh, uh, tonight I thought was probably our best game. I think these guys do a great job of moving the ball. They didn't turn it over. They don't have penalties. Uh, and we did struggle in the beginning with our offense as far as the turnovers go. So I think it was a great game on the part of the defense. We're making great progress. Uh, it's not that much of a surprise, though. I think I would have been a little bit more disappointed if we weren't doing well. Uh, I think the special teams came together. I recognize Alex uh, wasn't effective on a couple of kicks, but the way we're blocking, the way we're protecting, the different things that we're doing in terms of we got six different units out there, and there's a lot of things going on. And there's a lot of things going on other than just the specialist and what he winds up doing. I was pleased with their effort. It's the second game in a row where I was really pleased with all six units. Uh, I recognize Alex missed a couple of field goals, but there was good protection there. There was a good snap, good hold. Um, uh, and from, from, from an offensive perspective, I think the bottom line is, you know, again, we normally not turn the ball over since, since, we've been, since we've been together here at Coastal. And we've been doing that too much this year. And in the first half, that, that could have really hurt us. That could have really, really cost us something. What I was pleased with was the way the offense came back. They didn't let, it, they didn't let that get them down. And they did a great job in the second half. Moving the ball, being crisp, being sharp, holding on to the ball, catching the ball, all of those things. We, uh, we gave uh, good protection to Alex. I think whenever whenever he has a read that, you know, that allows him to kind of keep the ball and take off, I think he's always a threat uh, to, to wind up picking up some big yardage. And it puts a lot of pressure on the defense when they have to pay attention to that. If they pay too much attention to that, there are other things, of course, that we can do. So I was really pleased with the team in the second half. I was pleased with the, uh, the defense and the special teams as far as the, the entire game goes. Uh, and now I think our guys, as well as our staff, can enjoy tonight. We had a good victory. Uh, enjoy tonight. We get a little break tomorrow morning, not for very long. Then we come in, we kind of go over our film, we make sure we we're, we're, uh, make sure we understand what we need to, what we need to improve on. And uh, by the end of the evening, we'll start to get ready for Furman. Our guys will have tomorrow night to play. It. We'll have tomorrow night as well as as well as uh, all day Monday off. And uh, so. I want our guys and our staff to enjoy this, this victory tonight. You want to talk a little about the significance of this win, knowing you have to go on the road next couple games before conference play. Okay, our last two games last year we were on the road. Our first, our three out of five games so far this year we've been on the road, so we're kind of used to going on the road. So there's no special significance to that. We love playing at home. We love playing in front of our crowd. We love being able to play at home. But we don't control that. So next week, we're going to go on a road like we always go on a road. We're not going to think too much about that. The key is getting ready for Furman, not necessarily getting ready for the road trip. We're well organized. Our logistics, because of George Brent, our director of football operations, are usually outstanding when we do stuff like that. So we're going on a road. That's it. Joe, you mentioned something about Alex a little bit and missing field goals. This year, uh, he seems to be kind of off keel a little bit with regards to making those uh, does it, has, it, has it gotten to the point where it's starting to concern you with five games in the season that he's already missed a couple tonight and it, it's been kind of a trend throughout his uh, throughout this year? Well, I, I think he's, he, he does such a great job for us in the past. And he knows how to kick and he knows how to correct his problems. Uh, I don't know the two that he missed. I mean, they were misses. They were misses. But I'm not sure how, how bad those misses were. But they were misses. That's not okay. So we've got to do a better job of executing that. Uh, Alex understand what he's going to need to do to be to be more consistent, and we work closely with him anyway. But he can also coach himself. He's an experienced guy. Uh, if we need to, we're not afraid to go with Ryan. Great, he's the guy that kicked the long field goal a week ago. He certainly has a good leg, and we won't hesitate to use him if indeed we need to. Uh, so we'll take a look and see, see, see what that looks like over the span of this week. What about Henderson's turnovers? He's had two tonight. And is it starting to get to a point where you're kind of concerned about that as well? No, I think he's one of the best athletes we have on our team. He's got to do a better job. He's always fighting for extra effort. He's always a threat to be able to break one. He's got to do a better job of making sure that he protects the ball when he's in real traffic. So he's always got a shot to be able to break a tackle. He's used to being able to do that. But when those things are going on, he's got to protect the ball. That's what he's got to do a better job of. If he does that, he won't fumble the ball. How did you make improvements, Coach, at halftime from the offensive standpoint? I mean, Alex came out in the second half and just went wild, really. How did you Well, I think the big one, I think, really, I think the big one was we didn't want to turn the ball over. We didn't have many penalties, and we didn't turn the ball over the second half. So when we do that, Alex was talking about when he was up here, you know, we've got to do a better job of third down, third down efficiencies. But 
part of that is that you have a, a penalty that, that kills a third down, that, that kills your drive, or you have a turnover. That kind of kills that. So we solved, I thought we were pretty good tonight with regard to penalties. I thought we were pretty good with regards to, uh, we became good in the second half in terms of ball security. Uh, but, you know, we just, that's what we got to do. We got to play more like we played. Our offense has to play more like we, we did in the second half. Not only is it the first time in school history we've held opponents to uh, three points or less in three game, straight games, first time in Big South history. Any schools are on the point three points or less in three straight games. That's good. <laughs>